In this video, I will be unboxing, setting up and reviewing this really nice large wall clock from Xraxis. Unboxing this digital wall clock, we have a manual and the manual has eight languages for the instructions, so that's pretty cool. The clock is 13 inches in diameter, so it's quite a big clock and it comes with a plug, which is a UK plug in this case and then it comes with a remote as well now this remote is slightly different to the previous clocks that i've reviewed it is a bit wider it's much lighter and it's uh, the buttons are really cool to press they're very uh, responsive and clicky when you press them so that's pretty cool so i like the upgraded remote and the clock itself has got a few new features as well like 25 different alarms so that's pretty cool and also it has a temperature gauge which i will show you later on in the video what it looks like but basically it has a trend line so if the temperature is going up the arrow will slightly curve up and it will show that the temperature is increasing and if the temperature is decreasing the line will face down and start curving downwards to show that the temperature is decreasing and if it stays flat then the temperature is constant so that's pretty cool so you can sort of predict what the temperature is going to be if it's going to be getting hotter or colder so that's pretty cool now the uh, remote as you can see i've got different sizes that i'm measuring here and the clock i'm measuring as well so you can see the different sizes in centimeters and inches and what you can see on the back there with the cover removed next to the batteries it comes with two triple a pen like batteries and the remote comes with two triple a pen like batteries which is nice now coming back to the clock there in that back piece it looks like a little fan now what that is is it's for a cable organizer basically you can wrap your cable around that so you don't have excess cable lying around so the clock is really neat and tidy and it's also got a little line in the back a groove where the cable can fit so it fits perfectly it comes with two pull out stands which is really nice and easy to use so you can place the clock on a desk like i'm doing now and the stands just clip in place and it's more compact again you can see the brightness adjustment at the bottom there and then again the compartment like i say with the cable uh, wire wrap around thingy mabob now that's pretty cool so i'll show you how that works and uh, i thought that's a cool feature because usually you have excess cable lying around and it's just all over the place getting in the way so uh, x rexus have sorted that out with their cool little cable compartment so well done there there's also mounting uh, holes at the back so you'll see later i'll point those out so you can also put the clock on a wall so it's flush on a wall The clock comes with some time formats, 24 hour and 12 hour, as well as your DST. So that automatically adjusts for that time difference as well. There's also two sets of alarm clocks and three alarm modes. Now with those modes, there's three modes. One of them is an alarm for every day of the week. The other is an alarm for weekends only. And then the last one is an alarm for weekdays only. So that's quite cool that you can set different ones. The light sensor, as you can see on the screen, is in the top corner. So that's there for the dimness, which you saw earlier with the different types of dimness that you can have. And you can also switch off the clock using the remote as well. So you don't have a bright light in the evening. Now, again, the clock is very big, so you can use it in various areas as the digits are so large you can see them from quite far away now uh, i've plugged in the clock so we can see what it looks like so the numbers are red on this clock nice and bright and clear as you can see and i will now set it up so i am using the remote in this uh, part of the video to show you how that works so the remote can set it up or you can use the buttons on the back of the clock as well so that's quite cool so that dst is the daylight saving time so that you can have set up as well and also the eight languages so that's nice to have so you can set up the clock with uh, eight different languages as well now setting the time and the date you can see it's very easy you just cycle through the different options by pressing the set button and the same occurs on the back of the clock as well and then when you want to move up and down you just press the plus and minus to move up and down and select what you want and then set to move to the next piece of settings on the clock and you can move through those there so pushing the time if you hold down the button you can see that it will count much quicker than pressing it each time to move up one so remember that when you're doing the minutes you can hold it down so you can get there quicker and then once it's all done you can see what it displays the fahrenheit is reading high or the degrees but that is when setting up the clock for the first time 
it just needs a bit of time out of the box and everything to sort of settle and you'll see later on in the video uh, there's also a timer on the clock so if you set a time going up and you press the timer button it will count down but if you don't set any time and you press the timer button it will then count up so just remember that when doing that and we're also with the alarm that will then sound once the timer has reached zero So that was setting up the clock with the remote so everything can be done with the remote and now I'm showing you how you can set it up by using the buttons on the back of the clock. I have sped up the video uh, but all the settings and everything is the same as the remote. You just cycle through with the plus and minus. You click the set button or press the set button to move through the different options and as you get through those you can then obviously change them. The stand works really well as you can see here and the cable can also be hidden using that little compartment there. So seeing what the clock looks like on display, you can see it's really clear. And then I do change the settings of the brightness as you can see, so the dimness will go up and down. And you can see in the bottom right, the temperature is reading correct and there's a line going up, so it is trending upwards. So these are the dimmable settings. You can see how dull it goes and how bright it goes. And then there's the option of turning off the clock face as well, but it doesn't actually turn off the clock. So just zooming in on the temperature here, you can see it's constant. And I do like that new feature on this clock. It is very cool to see that the temperature is going up or down or staying constant. So I like that little feature. So, so well done to x -Raxis. And uh, yeah, I'll be view reviewing some more clocks that they have. There's some really cool ones that you'll see. So make sure you come back. Cheers.